We're creating a cover page for this project. We've already created a 3D document, 3D view, and now we need to have an index. Now, you could choose to just have a big title. So we can call it brown house, number, street number, blah, 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 lot number, blah, blah, blah. Uh, 4DA or 4CC or whatever you want to say. So we could have that as our cover page and have a separate index page or we could have our index page, so our drawing list on our cover page. Now we could create that in a few different ways. We could just create a text box and write it up as text. So we could say site plan page one. Right, so we could do it very manually or we could set it up a bit more professionally or automatically using an index. What do I mean by that? If we go to this index, we see this is our drawing transmitter one, and it's very complicated. There's lots of stuff in this drawing transmitter. If I select it, right click, open source view, it's going to take us to a project map and obviously a view map as well so when we scroll down it's under project indexes and it's called ad layout index so there are already built into archicad some lists of drawings that we might be putting and depending on what we're trying to show we might want a very complicated list list of sketch layouts or a very simple list and so it depends on what we want it to say so this one whoop, let's change that back This one says drawing number, description, revision, issued, published, remark. Now, how do we actually create these? If we go into index settings, we see that this is the same as scheme settings if we were creating a schedule. And so it's not actually the same, but it's a different place, but it's very similar in what it does. And we can make these up from scratch. It's really just a question of what do we want it to say? So we can create up a new one. And we'll call this one just very simply drawing list. It's best to start with one that's relatively simple. If we've already got one to use, this one list of drawings in architectural layouts. We'll go new, duplicate, and we'll just say DA drawing list. Up the top is the criteria of what we include. So the, in this case, the different layouts that are visible. Now the value here is missing, so that's not very helpful. So if we go to layout subset is, do I want layout subset? Not really, I actually just want it to be based on layouts. So I could remove this and I could add a new criteria. So we can see that based on its index, it's only based on layouting. I don't have lots of different things. And so I could include layout and I could press add, and then I need to say is or is not, and then I need to base it on something else. Now, because this is only giving me one option, that would only be selecting one layout, and so I'd only be able to choose one layout from here. So instead of choosing one layout, let's instead la add a layout subset layout subset is and then i can choose a particular type so do i want to choose the whole thing do i want to choose part of it so let's choose this one here called documentation layout subset is documentation and then what do i want to show about those subset layouts I want to show the subset ID and name, the layout ID and name, the drawing ID, the drawing name, and when it was last updated. So if I press OK, it's going to now auto-populate this based on all of the settings that I have. Now it's got way too much information. It's got way too many drawings. So I don't necessarily want to show all of these because these aren't all part of my DA. So what do I do? If I go to my layouts, maybe I need to change the way that this is set up so I'm only showing a certain amount. So let's just assume for a second that I only wanted to show site, plans, sections, and elevations, and nothing else. So if I go back into my index setting, instead of choosing this particular layout subset, which is called documentation, which is everything, 
I'll instead change this to site. I'll go add criteria and add another one and another one and another one. And I want to select here just the ones that I want to add. So in this case, it was site, then it was plans, sections, and elevations. And in this case, it's either and or, it's all and, 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 because I want all of them to be there. Now let's press OK. If I press and, 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 is there any that are and, and, and? No, because if it's and, 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 they would need to be simultaneously both. So that doesn't make sense. So it's or, or, or. So any of these are acceptable. So if I now look through, it's going to limit it to the site and whatever is in site. In this case, shadows, existing, demolition, landscape, storm water is all part of site. So they're all shown. If I go to plans, floor plans at 1 to 100, floor plans 1 to 50, RCP, electrical lighting, set out, framing finishes, they're all part of this one as well. So it's going to include all of those in this list. And then finally, sections and elevations. So if I'm happy with that, that's great. If there's too many drawings and I don't want to include those, then maybe I need to change how I'm discriminating between each of these elements so I see less of them. Or if that's great, maybe I just want to change the settings. So if I go back into index settings, what don't I want to see? Maybe I don't care when it was last updated for the sake of a cover page for a DA submission. Do I care what the subset is not really I don't really want to show what the subset is do I want to see what the layout ID and name is yes absolutely do I want to see what the drawing name is well not really maybe all I actually care about is layout ID and name and then that gives gives me a much simpler list of what I want to see. If that's not big enough, I can extend it. If I'm happy with that, I need to make sure I've got a saved view. So I'm going to create a new saved view. I don't want any of that. Let's go back up to our cover page. And I want to place this on here. What's the problem? It's really big. There's a lot, isn't there? So maybe in this case, it's not going to work to have it on this particular drawing. So if I cut it from here, maybe I don't want this one. Oh, let me undo that for a sec. Maybe I want to paste this one here. Maybe I want to pick up the settings of this, inject it to that, stretch this out, frame to drawing, split drawings, I can delete this, if I determine that the scale was too small I could make it bigger, so I could make it bigger here, I could change the scale here, you know, it's already one to one, or I could go the other way to make it bigger, or of course that's a really bad way of working, what I should really do is just have it to be at what it was originally set at. I don't want to change the magnification. I want to leave the magnification as it is. And then I can go back to my save view, go into the settings, and change the way that that's set up. So let's go into it. Let's say I want everything to be three millimeters instead of two and five to make that a little bit bigger. This is my heading, so I need that to be much bigger. And so I can call this uh, drawings or layouts. Now drawings isn't what we're doing, but that's what most people would call it.
and that's going to automatically, well, is it going to automatically if we're going to settings? It's on manual, I need to go here and then that'll automatically update on my page. We can see we could still get bigger if we wanted to. And now that I'm happy with the settings, I can go in and make that bigger if I want to. So if I go to size and appearance, uh, let's make it 200%. It's not quite fitting on the page. I don't wanna keep it at 200%, remember, I'm just using that as a gauge. So I'll go back into the settings, open source view, and I could update these further if I wanted to. So I'll make this eight, I'll make this five, I'll go to the main one, I'll make that 20 and 10. I'll go back and I'll stretch it out. And I need to stretch it out this way as well. Maybe a bit too far. Let's make this a bit smaller. And I'll make that a bit smaller. None of those are cut off, so that's okay. So now we've got a very simple drawing index page. Again, we could put this onto our cover page if we wanted to, or we can keep that separate. 